Hi guys, so today we're going to be talking about organism adaptations. So the really cool thing about living things is that they never stay the same. They're always changing and adapting to their environments and overcoming changes in those environments in order to survive. So what is an adaptation? An adaptation is a change in an organism that helps it survive, get food, or reproduce. There are a couple of different types of adaptations. We have structural adaptations, which are the body parts of the animals. These are physical or physiological, and they involve the body of the animal or plant changing over time to fit in and survive better in its environment. The other type of adaptation is behavioral adaptations. Behavioral adaptations are things that the organism does. They're actions or behaviors, and they can be instinctual or they can be learned. So first we have structural adaptations. These are body parts or physical structures on an organism that help it survive, get food, or reproduce. A really good example of this is the beaks of different types of birds. So birds have different beaks based on their diets. Some birds have long pointy beaks for poking into the holes in trees or the ground and getting food. Some birds have sharp curved beaks for catching prey and picking it apart like an eagle or a hawk might have. Some birds have sharp uh, hammer-like beaks for pecking holes in trees or uh, branches to get bugs out of it. Um, and some birds have flat beaks that are used to eat plants or scoop things out of the water. So these adaptations depend on the environment of the bird and the type of food that they are eating. Other examples might be the hump on a camel, which is used to store water because the camel lives in a desert and there's not a lot of water around, so it has to store it when it finds it. Another really cool example of this is the ability to camouflage or to mimic. So a lot of insects and plants have this, but they're not the only ones. So camouflaging is like the picture on the left where this insect is blending into the leaf that it lives on. The leaf and the insect look similar enough that a predator would not be able to de determine which one is the insect and which one is the leaf and hopefully would leave the insect alone and allow it to survive. The second one is called mimicry. The picture on the right is a butterfly, but the patterns on the butterfly's wings mimic a snake. So when predators see this, they think it's a snake and not a butterfly, and they leave the butterfly alone. So both of these types of adaptations allow these insects to survive and avoid being eaten by things like birds and small animals. The next type of adaptation is behavioral adaptations. These are things an organism does in order to survive. So one really well-known example of this is how bears and some other mammals hibernate in the winter. There's not a lot of food available in the winter for an animal like a bear, which is a scavenger and eats a lot of berries and roots and things off the ground, as well as some small animals and other things like that. Since there's not food available in the winter, the bear stores up food and then goes to sleep all winter. The bear stays warm and survives, and it doesn't have to try to make it through the winter and hunt. So hibernation is one way that bears and other mammals survive in the winter. Another example is migration in the winter for birds. So in the winter, a lot of birds fly south where it's warm so that they don't have to try and survive the winter where there's nothing for them to eat, like seeds and bugs, um, in the north. Another cool example is monkeys learning to use tools to find food. So in this picture, we have a couple of little monkeys, and they're using a stick to poke into this log and pull out bugs to eat. So this is obviously a learned behavior and not an instinct. The monkeys have figured out how to use a tool to get their food. Um, monkeys also use things like rocks to break things open. They've learned that as well. And that's an adaptation that they've learned to help them get food and survive. So why do organisms adapt? As we already said, organisms adapt to survive. The environment is always changing, and if organisms cannot change to survive the environment, they will die. 
Uh, for example, an environment could get warmer or colder, a food source could disappear, all kinds of things like that could happen, and if living things cannot adapt to survive in the new environment, they will not survive. Uh, one thing to remember is that adaptation is very slow. It does not happen overnight. It does not happen in one generation. It takes many, many, many generations. So over a long period of time, organisms adapt to survive best in their environment. What's really important about this is that when we learn about the different changes that happen to environments, the long-term and the short-term changes, in an environment, we can see how those affect the things that live there. For example, a really devastating short-term change, such as an entire forest burning down, probably wouldn't lead to adaptation of the animals because it's not a long-term change. However, a long-term climate change where an environment gets colder and colder and colder over a long period of time, over many generations of organisms, those organisms would adapt to survive that colder environment. So it takes many generations for this to happen. All right, and then finally, what if organisms can't adapt? So if a change happens in an environment and an organism cannot adapt, either behaviorally or structurally to survive that change, there are two things that generally happen to that organism. It can either die out in that area or it can migrate, it can move away to a more favorable environment. So that's all we have to learn today about organism adaptations. I hope this I hope this helps you guys better understand how living things are always changing to survive get food, and reproduce in their changing environments.